three. What's up, everyone? I am Jamie with threelittlegoats.com. It is really dark. Focus on me. There we go. <laughs> I am Jamie with threelittlegoats.com. If you're new here, welcome to my channel. If you've been around for a while, welcome back. I'm glad to see you. We are in my soap studio today, which means we're not making soap. Not, not quite yet. If you've been around for the last few weeks, you guys know we got over a foot of snow. We had negative temps and it was just all around cold and miserable and yucky here. So in order to prevent stuff from freezing in my office, I took all of my computers and electronic stuff into the house just so I didn't have to worry about it. So now I've got to put everything back where it belongs, set up all of my computers and just give my office a cleaning all around. I've got a big box of soaping supplies right here that you can't see that needs to be put away and organized as well. So I figured I would bring you guys along. So let's get my office put back together. All right, so I figure I'll give you guys a very quick overview of what I'm working with. All of this stuff was inside. I literally just brought it in to start putting it back together. And then over here is my work area where I actually soap, but it's usually pulled out and underneath this. So I've got to clean all of this stuff off because I was doing taxes, so I needed my printer and scanner. So all of this stuff needs to be put away. That is a shipment from Wholesale Supplies Plus, plus dishes from the last time I made soap that were cleaned and need to be put away. Over here is not too, too bad. I've got a couple molds that need to be washed. My drone stuff and all my battery stuff needs to be put away and that's pretty much it. I'm not tackling up there. I'm not even, I don't even want to show you up there. I seen a box up there. It was closed from when we were moving. I didn't know what was in it. So I pulled everything down just so I could see what was in it. Spoiler, it was just some empty bags for camera equipment. Nothing that I needed, nothing that I want to deal with. So it's a mess up there. That's for another day. For now, we're going to try to tackle some of this. So let's get to work. I'm so excited. Not really, but super not excited to do all of this. All right, let's yap in more work. We're So I have a working workstation again. I can actually see my desk, which is nice. My laptop is charging. Helps if I actually plug it in. There we go. Now it's charging. So this is my editing computer. Oh, it's turned back on. Yay. This is, I mostly use this for this one is video editing. This one I use for Photoshop and stuff like that when I'm rendering on this one. That way I can just, I can keep working and I have to worry about rendering. And then I also do anything I'm going to do with my silhouette. It goes off of this one. And I originally had my old silhouette right here. I didn't like it because when I would cut stuff, I didn't have anywhere to really weed it unless I was standing at this desk. I want to be able to just do it all right here. So I got this cart, which has a heater on it right now. And this is going to be my silhouette station. But my battery's gonna die, so let me change that out and we will get working on all of this. All right, so I think I wanna move this cart over to here. That way, all my silhouette stuff is right in this general area. And if I need to pull the cart out, I can. I gotta move my trash can. And let's figure out what we're gonna do to try to organize some of this stuff. Oh, I found more dishes I gotta put away too. I hate doing soaping dishes. I'll do dinner dishes all day long. I hate soaping dishes. Fun fact about me. So let's get back to this.
so I've got my cart all ready to go. I've got my silhouette up here. Great thing is the new one I can do with Bluetooth. My old one had Bluetooth capability, but it wasn't the best. So this one, I don't have to have a cable running all the way. And then underneath it, I've got like my ruler for heat transfer vinyl to put on. I, I don't know how to explain it. I have this thing. You put it on your shirt. That way you can measure to make sure where you're putting your shirt decal. And then my Cricut heat press. And then I just have my little knitting machine and some extra things of yarn down here. And that is done. So now it's time to tackle this. Oh. Thankfully, the drawers are still organized. The, they'll stay organized, but it needs to get wiped down. And I need to clean up all of this stuff. So let's get started on all of So we haven't had like a UPS delivery in two weeks, almost three weeks because of the weather. More stuff I got to put away. Yay, but I'm excited about this stuff. This is a backdrop for when I take photos. A little tip if you ever need to take photos but you want a really pretty black backdrop but you don't have like marble in your house, contact paper, a piece of card, the foam board from the Dollar Tree. It's perfect. you know. gonna organize it by send families but they wouldn't stop rolling around so now they're just in a line where I can read them easily. I feel like they look like Jay from Jay and Silent Bob with this hoodie on. Alright. So we got some shea butter, some cocoa wafers, uh, some flour oil, and some coconut oil. I'll just move these somewhere over there. All right, this side. All right, this side isn't so bad. I just have to kind of get my camera equipment back put together. And then put my batteries and drone stuff away. And of course, <laughs> oh, the stuff I just got in the mail, I got to put that away too. So let's go. And then I think when I did my original tour of my craft shed soap studio this I didn't have a curtain here nor did I have anything under here I do now I have lots of stuff under there so I will show you what I store under there so on this side uh, I store some molds that I don't use for soap these are actually were used for resin for the holidays to make some ornaments slash gift tags. I'll link it in the description box so you know what I'm talking about. That was a fun project, but I do keep all of my resin stuff 
in here, as well as my silicone stuff. I don't know what else is just in here. Oh. Sandpaper and some paintbrushes. That's what I keep in this one. It's all silicone and resin stuff. In here, I keep. I don't know why my titanium dioxide is over here. I need to get some more jars for these, though. That goes over there. So over here, I keep all of my butters and waxes. It all stays in here, as well as my distilled water. And that all is out in there. I also have some cooling wax to put soap on if I need to. And then on this side, I have my drying rack. I bought this cart off of Amazon and it just rolls out and it's mesh on the bottom so it's really great for drying soaps. I just have a bunch of stuff that needs to be wrapped under there. I'll bring it closer. How about that? Lighting is very weird right now, but I have a dehumidifier down there that I empty probably every other day. In the summertime, it's every day. And then this drying rack that you can't see because sunlight. There we go. I just got this little cart off of Amazon. It fits perfectly underneath my table. It's on wheels and everything is mesh, so there's plenty of breathing room all around. So that helps to dry out my soaps. And then I take this little thing to the farmer's market and I usually have lotions and lip balms, my sample bars, and then the bottom will be filled with those bars as well. So let's finish cleaning. So it is officially cleaned. We have had over a foot of snow this last week and I'm just, I haven't even been able to get into my office. So I'm going to blame it all on that and having to move everything out of the office and then back in. So that's why my office was such a mess. It wasn't because I was procrastinating on putting stuff away and wiping everything down. It had nothing to do with that. I'm going to blame it on the snow. But it's almost 60 degrees today. It's still a little chilly in my office because I didn't run the heater today. But the snow was finally starting to melt. Everything is a wet mess. So I figured today would be a great time to get a jump start on my spring cleaning. So now one room is done. Let me know down in the comments below if there's a room in your house that you are dreading cleaning or getting organized because this was definitely the one for me. But it's done and I can get started on other projects like making some soap and finishing our chicken coop. So if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. We put out videos every single week. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.